But then you also have all of these people who go on and on about how IRC is so much better than everything. I feel like the more I talk, the deeper I'm digging my own grave at this point, so maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, fine. I'm just like super tired of people who have used IRC for a very long time. And then they're like, oh, IRC is so incredibly amazing because like I'm in all of these channels and we have so many communities and all of that. And it's like, yeah, that's great. Um, fine, use IRC if you want to. I don't care. Um, but what I don't like is when these people also are like super harsh against like Slack and Discord. And they're being like, oh no, they're just based on IRC. You might as well use IRC or whatever. Um, it's like, but just look at how these systems work for like, like you say, for new users. If you wanna like tell someone now who's never used any chat clients and they're gonna be like, okay, I wanna introduce you to IRC. It's like, oh, you need to uh, connect to the server and then you need to write all of these commands and then you need to, then the like interface looks like garbage and it's not user-friendly at all. So everything is just shit for like people who uh, have like never really used the old versions of it. Like it's fine for you because you're used to it because uh, you grew up with like the shit interfaces of IRC, right? Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so it's like Discord and Slack are super user friendly. Just see how much they exploded, see how many communities they've created in ways that IRC has kind of stagnated and didn't really do, um, especially Discord. Um, so like, I don't know, they're very different types of things and it's fine that people want to use both or either or whatever, uh, but like, this is, it's kind of like annoying when people are like, yeah, like my IRC better than Slack because Slack is slow. It's like. Nobody cares if Slack is a bit slower. Nobody cares if Discord's a bit slower. If you're using it for like gaming or if you're using it for work, like it doesn't really matter that much. So, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I clarified my position. Are we friends now? <laughs> Did I make it worse or better? I don't know. Um, what am I doing? I'm adding a collider to this. I think some of the worst parts um, to me, like from a user facing perspective about like Discord or um, or Slack is exactly the type of stuff that's a carryover from IRC. Like, oh, you can only do lowercase channel names with no spaces or anything. It's like, oh, okay, why? Oh, because the protocol, but it's like, but why does the protocol have to be this way? It's like, oh, because it's based on IRC, but like, why, God damn it! like improve it, make it better. Things can be better today. <laughs> like, we're not gonna stick to these shitty limitations, right? Um, same thing with like commands or like bots or whatever. Like why, if you wanna like have a thing that assigns roles to people on Discord, why make that a bot? Like everybody needs this in Discord. Everybody wants to have a way of assigning roles to people through like mod tools or whatever. Just add this as a feature instead of like making this hacking API system for bots and like having the weird way of making people, you know, do commands on their own where it's like, oh, you need to react with an emoji to get the thing to happen or write a thing, but there's no place to write a guidelines for how to do the commands because there's no dedicated place for commands. And it's just like, Zah, just like improve this garbage like or like if you want to have bots make them actually integrated make it so that if you have this channel with a bot you enter it and you see this thing at the top that's like hey look we have a bot in this channel this is how it works here's a button you can press to see the commands you can give it and the results of it or whatever like you know give people the tools to make it useful instead of just like assuming that people know what bots are because you've grown up with IRC or whatever like it's, it's just bad um <sighs> god damn it I'm sorry <sighs> I'm sweaty now <laughs> What the things you said chat apps need to improve over IRC and stuff. Telegram has those improvements. Good! I'm glad. <laughs> like, great. So do you say make it accessible via bots? <laughs> God damn it. 
And it like doubles as a fucking user was like, oh, it shows up in the user category or list of users. So I was like, oh, but that's not an actual user. This is a bot. And if you want to change a thing with it, you, you DM the bot and then you get the message sent to the bot and the bot will then delete your message so you can see that it did the thing. It's like, what is this hacky garbage? <laughs> like, just add proper functionality for this stuff. Everybody needs it and wants it and people are using it. Like, don't make, don't support workarounds. <laughs> like, don't make the workarounds official that way. Just like, make proper tools for things. God damn it. If you love using the terminal, I mean, you can use that. I don't mind. But don't push it onto people who are new to chat application and tell them to use the terminal. Don't do that. <laughs> That's bad. That's a great way to get them to be like, uh, well, this looks like garbage. Where's my friends list? Oh, you type like dash dash chat application name space friends space dash r to get the friends list in reverse chronological order. It's like, what? <laughs> Nobody's gonna get that. Make nice interfaces for this stuff. I'm upset. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> Damn it. What? Indirectly, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're different. Okay. But, yeah, no, this is, okay. I think um, Ashley and I might have our first fight after the stream. Our relationship had a good run, I feel like, so.